the opening days of this new year, um, we are so glad to be out of 2020, but we did want to reflect on some of the blessings we had by sharing and reflecting back on some of the beautiful music that was offered to us through our worship services. So I hope you enjoy some of these songs for our opening. <laughs> today? <laughs> today is Tuesday, January 26th. 
I read to you from a guide to prayer for ministers and other servants, and this is a quote from Henri Nouwen, an article that he wrote called Time Enough to Minister. Often we're not as pressed for time as much as we feel we're pressed for time. I remember several years ago becoming so pressed by the demands of teaching at Yale that I took a prayer sabbatical to a monastery in New York. No teaching, lecturing, or counseling, just solitude and prayer. On the second day there, a group of students from college walked in and asked, Andre, can you teach us and give us a retreat? Of course, at the monastery, that was not my decision, but I said to the abbot, I came here from the university to get away from that type of thing. These students have asked for five meditations, an enormous amount of work and preparation. I don't want to do it. The abbot said, you're going to do it. What do you mean? Why should I spend my sabbatical time preparing all these things? Prepare, he replied. You've been a Christian for 40 years and a priest for 20. And a few high school students want to have a retreat. Why do you have to prepare? What those boys and girls want is to be a part of your life in God for a few days. If you pray half an hour in the morning, sing in our choir for an hour, and do your spiritual reading, you'll have so much to say you could give 10 retreats. The question, you see, is not to prepare, but to live in a state of ongoing preparedness so that when someone who is drowning in the world comes into your world, you're ready to reach out and help. It may be at 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, or 9 o'clock. One time you call it preaching, the next time teaching, then counseling, or later administration. But let them be part of your life in God. That's ministry. Let us pray. Lord, give us the time, your time, to always be ready to meet the needs of those who come before us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk in faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.